Hey, welcome back. Um, I want to go through some things about how class will go from here. Um, quarter four. So uh, first off, you notice we're in classroom. This is where you're going to find all of your work. Um, secondly, we are all starting chapter five. Uh, previous assignments have, were created for the fact that we had 88 minute classes. Um, whereas starting from here, moving forward, we're going to be uh, working with material that I have made sure can be done uh, within the 30 minutes or you know an hour counting the two days. Um, so let's get started. Let's kind of talk about where we're going to find things and, and uh, how this will work. So I highly suggest every day you log into probably every uh, class um, and see what is expected of you that day. Uh, you are gonna find my work under classwork. So um, there are several things and in mine, there's uh, some that you don't have at the moment and they will show up later. Um, so I have created topics to help us with, excuse me, with finding items. So under resources, you'll find your scientific calculator. That's that Desmos calculator that works a lot like the calculators we used in the classroom. Um, the e-learning help videos, which is where uh, hopefully you found this video. Um, but there's the how to zoom video in there and uh, what class is going to look like that will be uploaded to there. Uh, the e-learning question form. So this is a form that uh, after today realizing that even though we are eighth graders, we cannot handle uh, not messing with someone else's typing in a document. Um, I've created a form for you to submit your questions. It's a really simple form. Um, it just asks, it doesn't even ask for your name. You just need to type your question. Uh, this will help me plan for our Zoom sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I'll get you times out for those. Uh, but that'll help us for our question and answer sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you just type in your your question and I will respond. Um, remember, and then especially if you think, oh, I may not make it to that one or I possibly for, for, will forget and you have a question that you really, really need answered, then you want to enter it into this form because then it will ensure that the question gets answered and then you can watch it. If you don't make it onto the Zoom, you can watch it later because I will be uploading those Zooms into Google Classroom under the the week topic that we did them in. Um, there is, uh, there will be showing up tomorrow your fourth quarter syllabus. Um, it is put in as a, an assignment is technically I'm giving it to you as your first assignment um, and you need to read through and once you've read through the syllabus you can mark it turned in. Please read through it even though I'm talking through quite a bit of the stuff that is in there. It does have uh, answers to a lot of questions that you probably have uh, and so you should go there first and then email me um, and then I have decided uh, if you signed up on Monday the 30th for an exit ticket I do have that list and I will be working through that to the best of my ability tomorrow for zooms and getting that in and and moving and grooving um, but from Tuesday the 30th or 31st on um, you I want you to use this form again it's for the fact that uh, this way no one can delete your name no one can mess with your name none of your name will go in what you're wanting to exit ticket or test will go in and that'll be it um, so now let's get into what will our week look like in e-learning so all of us are starting chapter 5 like I said, we will all start chapter five together. So what needs to be done first, starting on Wednesday, you need to make sure chapter five, whatever work is available, that you know your 30 minutes that day is spent on chapter five. And then after that 30 minutes, whatever else, chapter 13, chapter I guess 12, uh, that you're wanting to get done, then that can get done. But chapter 13 is, or chapter five, we're going, back to algebra chapter five is your main priority and that's what should get done first so 
uh, for April 1st through April 3rd. Here you'll your notes will post on April 1st. Uh, your video and I'll double check as to why uh, it looks like it's not there uh, and I'll double check that link. But your video will be here. I have posted a PDF copy of the notes. You may print them. You do not have to print them. So you can, but you don't have to. I would still write your notes. More than welcome to write them on your own piece of paper and work from there, but I think it's nice. It does two things. It has you thinking as you're writing, and, and a lot of times uh, writing something out helps solidify the concept, uh, but then it also gives you a paper copy that as you're doing your assignment, you can go back to the paper copy, and then if you're still struggling, then you can go back to the video. And then if you need to, you can go back up here to uh, question form and submit a question if you have a question about what you're going, or, you know, uh, about a problem that you're on or uh, the like. So, um, that was the previous exit ticket sign up that will probably be gone after tomorrow um, or later tonight. Anyway, uh, on under this will also show up any activities that we do. So I have an interactive slide video, or not video, but an interactive slides that we will do this week that will show up in here once it gets completed. Um, any quizzes will show up under the topic that we are working on for that week. Um, so any of those activities. So a normal week, this is how to, um, most of our weeks are going to work. Monday and Wednesday, you will have notes and a math Excel assignment. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will have an activity that helps solidify and practice the assignment that we did the, the day before or any review assignments, really, because we want to keep the review going as, as we work through. Um, the, after, so we talked about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we'll take a benchmark exam. And so that's going to be a little quiz test over what we covered that week. So uh, the only time we're not doing that on Friday is this week where I'm going to take our graphing points and I'm going to push it into week two where we're working on slope. And so it'll be slope and graphing points in one benchmark uh, exam that should take less than 30 minutes to accomplish. Um, again, you will find these, your math excels, your benchmark exam will be a math excel. Uh, you need to make sure that you are starting it with ample time to complete it because if you leave it for any reason, it will lock you out just like it does at school when you leave it and then you need me to, you know, re give you access to it. Uh, the issue now is without being in my classroom, uh, unless it is my office hours, I cannot be guaranteed to be at the computer to open up your uh, test if you need me to uh, give you access to it. So you need to make sure that you've given yourself at least a 30 minute window uh, to where you're not going to be asked to walk away from your computer and you can work. Um, let's see, what else? The Zoom links for the week will show up under the e-learning uh, week, whatever it is. The Zoom videos will show up under that uh, week topic. Um, I think that answers everything. I guess I didn't answer yes, uh, with a benchmark being our assessment, our, you know, do we know what we are doing? You will have the ability to retake. Uh, I'm not insisting on study plans now before this, but if you're needing to retake, you'll have to do your study plans to gain access. Uh, to that for a retake. Um, and those will be re-enabled once everyone has, or once Saturday, you know, come Saturday, the uh, study plans will be reattached to your uh, assessment. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'll probably be answering more of these questions uh, when we actually do our first Zoom on Thursday. I think that is all 
Um, you are, my office hours are from 9 until 10.30, so that's when you're guaranteed to reach me, and I will respond to your emails as quickly as I can. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, keep in mind this is new for all of us. Um, everyone's going to be starting on the same page with Chapter 5 and any late work that you want to complete that will be on your own time. So, catch you on the flip side.